Distance between parallel planes. Determine the distance between following set of planes. Pi 1, plane 1, is x plus y minus z plus 2 equals to 0. And pi 2 is x plus y minus z plus 6 equals to 0. Clearly, the two planes are parallel since uh, their normals, which are n1 and n2, are equal, right? And they are equal to 1, 1, and minus 1, correct? So these two planes are parallel. Now, to find distance between two parallel planes, what we need is we need a point on one of the planes uh, so that we can find distance from that point to the other plane, right? So that will be the distance between the planes. And as you remember, the formula for distance is equals to a x1 plus b y1 plus c z1 plus d over square root of a square plus b square plus c square. Right? So that is that is a formula for finding distance between a point and a plane where a, b, c are normal, right? Directions for the normal vector, right? Now, what we can do is the most convenient point to find in this case uh, on a plane will be, we can substitute x and y equals to 0 and then find the z point, right? That means the point on the z axis. So let's do that point on plane 1. So let's say p1 is point on plane 1 and if we substitute x equals to 0, y equals to 0, what do we get? So we get x equals to 0, y equals to 0 in this case. Then we get z equals to 2, right? So the value for z is 2. So that is a point on plane 1, right? How did we get it? We got it by substituting x equals to 0 and y equals to 0. So when we did that, we got 0 plus 0. Let me write here. We got 0 plus 0 minus z plus 2 equals to 0. And by solving, we get z equals to 2, right? So that is how we get a point, right? Now we know a point on plane 1 and we have normal of plane 2, which is 1, 1, and minus 1. So we can use this point of plane 1 and find its distance from plane 2. So one mistake which I've seen sometimes students make is they take a point and then do use that very plane to find the distance. Well, you have to use the other plane. Otherwise, you'll get zero distance, right? So let's find distance using this formula. So the distance formula is d equals to a times x1 plus b times y1 plus c times z1 plus d where x, y, and z ones are this point, right? 0, 0, and 2. So when we substitute that, we get a is actually, I should have used this equation, x, right? So which is a is 1 in this case, right? So we are just substituting these values here for the second plane. So we are trying to find distance of point p1 with plane pi 2, right? Which is x plus y minus z plus 6 equals 2. Zero. So that is the distance we are trying to find. So here x, y minus z will be substituted by 0, 0 and 2. And then we have 6 here. And remember, the numerator is an absolute value. Distance is always positive, right? So we'll take absolute value of, we'll put these points here. We get 0 plus 0 minus 2 plus 6. That is the numerator. And in the denominator, we have direction numbers 1, 1, minus 1 for the plane, so which is 1 square plus 1 square plus minus 1 square square root, right? So if you solve this, you get what? Minus 2 plus 6 is absolute 4, and then we have in the numerator 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is square root of 3, right? So the answer is 4 over square root 3. So that is the distance between the given planes, right? So that is how you find the distance between the two planes which are parallel. So what you have to do here first for first and foremost is first thing you have to check that normals are scalar multiple right. So we say n1 equals to k times n2 so that means parallel planes and then second step you have to do is find a point on plane first plane right. So find point
on pi 1. So best point to find is for example in this equation z intercept or x intercept or y intercept that would be better because you get two zeros in that right. So my point will be z intercept and then use distance formula. So use the formula. So use point and normal of pi 2 to find distance right. So these are the three steps which you should follow to get your answer that is distance between parallel planes. I hope that's absolutely clear and we'll now move on to similar examples and we'll take skew lines. Distance between skew lines is as good as finding distance between parallel planes correct because skew lines are lines which are which don't have the same direction numbers but they are in parallel planes so it is as good as finding distance between parallel planes. Thank you.